thank you so much for clicking on this video. Before we get into this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you are new to my channel, I would love to have you join me along on my adventure. As well as click the notification bell right next to it so that you are notified of every time I upload an upcoming video. I upload every single Friday. And I may or may not have a few videos uploaded sporadic throughout the week, but I'm not going to make any promises on that. It's just if I have an extra video, I may upload that, so make sure you hit that little notification bell and leave a comment down below of any suggestions that you have for any future videos, and let's get on into this one. So if you do not know already, I am engaged. I'm getting married in less than a month. I believe it is 26 days, actually. It's going to be October 12, 2019 so excited and this weekend I was actually surprised with my bridal shower. The bridal shower was actually yesterday. It was a lot of fun. My bridesmaids are absolutely amazing. They threw the perfect bridal shower. It was very beautiful. Lots of fall pumpkins around, little sandwiches in the shape of hearts. They were so, so cute. So I cannot thank my bridesmaids enough for throwing that party together for me. So for today's video, I thought I would do a little haul of what I got my bridal shower. I'm not going to go in any particular order here I'm just gonna grab what I can and show off what I got and maybe it will help you if you're creating a bridal shower registry at all of what you might want to include on that or if you are purchasing anything for a bridal shower these are a few key gifts that I would think would be important to have for your first home so let's get into this so to start I have this Keurig it is the Keurig K Elite. It has a self timer on it, I believe, five cup sizes, a less than one minute brew. This isn't just their ordinary one, it's a little bit more on the higher end. I am in love with coffee. I cannot start my day without any coffee. So this is a must have for me and I'm so grateful to have gotten it. I believe we just got it in the black color. Yes, it has a 75 ounce removable reservoir as well as it can brew iced coffee as well and it has a strong brew setting as well which is going to be perfect on those days where I need a little extra pick me up in the morning. Up next I have these beautiful Luminarc I think is the brand if I'm saying that right 10 piece nestable glass bowl set. I think this is important to have on any registry whether or not you want to pre-portion out your ingredients like it has in this picture here or to serve food, which is amazing, or to use as mixing bowls, which is probably what I'm going to do for these bowls here. They're just clear glass, so they are beautiful. They will go with any kind of decor that you may have. Super grateful for this one as well. This is the Daily Wear Make Everyday Special, and this is like a serving platter kind of thing. I'm going to insert a picture of it right here so you can see it a little bit better closer up. But it has six usages, so the main picture that's on the front is the cake stand, but it also can turn into a punch bowl, something to serve veggies and dip with. It can cover your veggies and dip as well as just be a serving platter for salads or your fruit tarts, desserts, anything like that. So it's multiple uses in one. I believe it is glass. It's a six in one footed cake dome, so that's what it's called, yes, it is glass. It has a glass stand, glass dome, as well as a plastic ladle for serving your punches in. I thought this was awesome. My fiance loved this idea that was a convertible gift. So it's an easy way to register for one item but get multiple uses out of it. So up next, I have a couple of baking trays right here. I love baking, so I made sure to register for a large cupcake tray. I also have a smaller one down there that I also received, so I'll get that out later once I get to that area. And I also got this loaf pan, which is amazing. It's the nine and a quarter by five and a quarter loaf pan. Great for making your banana bread, zucchini breads, any kind of loaf cake, pound cake, you name it, meat loaf, make it in this pan. So just some few staple items. Also just a stainless steel cookie sheet. This is great for baking your cookies on as well as Anything else that needs to go in the oven so you can meal prep some foods here for those veggies, chicken tenders, anything you name it. Just my advice would be to put a piece of parchment down or get one of those silicone mats so that you don't damage your brand new shiny tray. So up next I also got this amazing waffle maker. I have been dying for a waffle maker. This is absolutely amazing. It flips just like the ones that you see in hotels, which I always kind of liked and enjoyed growing up going to a hotel. I'm like, do they have a waffle maker? Do they have a waffle maker? 
So it's by Cuisinart, it's the Belgian waffle maker. Creates perfect Belgian waffles, rotary feature, that's what I was talking about in the hotels. It has six settings, browning control, which is awesome. And I'm also going to use this probably for non-waffle recipes. So if you're interested or want me to test out anything in my new waffle maker, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to test those out for you. Up next, I just have a few miscellaneous items. So I have this beautiful drying mat. This has a marble kind of texture on it. I love it. It's really big. It's 18 by 24, which is great because I don't always throw stuff in the dishwasher. So it's great to just sometimes hand wash some items and especially those items that you can't throw in the dishwasher, like your pots and pans. Have this really cute oven mitt. It has a lot of sayings on it about a home. It says recipe for a happy home. Lots of love, dash of hope, joy, hugs and kisses. Quarter cup of smiles. It's just really cute and it has a red back. And to go with those, we also got this set. It is red and white. I thought this would be beautiful for Christmas time because this actually has, if you can see, kind of like a geometric pattern, but to me it kind of resembles a snowflake. So I think that's really cool with a red and a white cloth as well. And then red kitchen towels, which is perfect staple. You always need plenty of kitchen towels in your home. So you don't want to be using the same one too often or if one's in the laundry. And again, perfect for just some decor as well for Christmas time. And then we have this awesome little oven that I think my fiance actually registered for this one. It is just like a hand oven mitt and it kind of looks like a shark. So like, it's really cool. A few other just small items that have to do a little bit with serving and baking. And I know I have a couple more in some bags as well, so we'll get to those. But I got these adorable Wilton silicone spatula set and a little spoon. It's really pretty, perfect for fall time as well as a cake server to go with the cake stand that I got. Some skewers, because you never know when you're gonna need them and to do some grilling so you can grill veggies. Steak, chicken, make some really nice kebabs with these. And they're the stainless steel ones, not just the wooden ones, so that they also last longer and just take really good care of them and just wash them when you're done and they're reusable. And this is actually one that I was so, so excited for. It's so simple and so, crazy that I'm this excited for it. Maybe I'm just hardcore adulting here, but my fiance also loves it. It is this little slotted spoon. I'll come closer so that you can see that. This is Nessie. This is a soup ladle and she is really cute. She stands up just like this. So this is a soup ladle. It rests on the side of your pot so it doesn't make anything dirty. Has some feet and it just looks like an acute little adorable dinosaur and I love it. You also want to make sure to register for some glassware. So I was lucky enough to get some adorable glassware. They're just very plain. They are just glass, no pattern or anything, but we went a little different and registered for the square ones just to have a little shape, a little contrast, make it interesting. So I'm so super thankful to get these because this will be a very beautiful addition. Nice and simple. It goes with any kinds of plates or anything that you may get. So here I have a couple more baking items and serving ware. So you want to make sure that you're registering for something to serve your dishes with if you ever host get togethers, parties, holidays, anything like that. So you want to make sure to register for a large fork, large spoon, and a spatula, which is a metal spatula of some certain kind. And I'm very happy to have received these. They're going to be perfect for entertaining. I love to cook, I love to entertain, so I'm very happy to have these so I can serve some of my food. Just We also got just a measuring cup set, perfect to have around the home. And some more baking items, like I said, so here's that mini cupcake tray from Wilton that I was talking about earlier. I believe it makes, yes, it makes 24 mini cupcakes. And we got this. It's, uh, nine inch cake pan it's only one and a half inches high perfect for making little layer cakes absolutely beautiful this is by wilton and again you can make much more than just cakes in here if you run out of a pan throw this in with like some chicken nuggets on it good to go i have done that before because i ran out of a pan but you can cook so many different kind of cakes you can cook cinnamon rolls in here 
so many different kinds of recipes. So very happy, very happy to have this staple item in my pantry now. Okay, so I'm sorry if the camera angle is a little different. I had to switch out my camera batteries really quick. So on to the next item. I have this spiralizer. I'm very excited to use this because you can spiralize thin julienne, thick julienne. You can do ribbon cuts, which is going to be great to do like zucchini noodles. You can do all other kinds of zucchini noodles. Um, here, it shows some recipes on the side. Zucchini pasta, zucchini pesto, cucumber salads with the ribbonizer. I just think this is going to be really, really cool. And also, I'm excited to use the ribbon maker as well, maybe on some apples or some potatoes and make some really awesome apple chips for the fall time or just potato chips to have in general. If you are an avid baker, avid, avid chef, anything like that, you want to make sure that you are registering let me see if I can pick this up. You want to make sure that you are registering for a stand mixer. Now this is a gift I knew I was going to receive graciously from my parents as they, this is like their traditional kind of gift. They got my sister this as well. We got the apple cider color and what I'm hoping to get to go along with this to go out and buy at Bed Bath & Beyond or anything like that is that they have pasta attachments so I'm hoping to go out to Bed Bath & Beyond and purchase those as well with some of the gift cards that I received to make fresh pasta at home because that's something I really really want to try to do. So I'm very happy for the stand mixer, going to be an amazing addition to my kitchen so that I can continue baking and use some of the other items to put my baked goods in. Some other items that I also received is just this very nice basic plain set of kitchen towels. This is just gray and white striped. This will go with anything in your home. So you want to make sure that you are registering for basic colors. That's another tip that I have for you. That way, no matter what you may receive in your bridal shower or your wedding gifts, you know that everything will be cohesive and you can work together to have your certain style and make your home your own certain look. But basic colors are the way to go. Also, something that I received that I love very, very much, my aunt actually sewed this and it is just this very beautiful fall print. It has fall leaves, berries, acorns, I'm not sure if it has any pumpkins, I don't think so, but it's very fall related and it is this beautiful apron. I am absolutely in love with this. It has some sort of pleats on the front. It looks like an illusion with the pockets. There's two pockets in the front. This is absolutely beautiful and I love that she sewed this and made this by hand because it just makes the gifts a little bit extra special. So if you're looking to add some little oomph to your gift that you may do, make something handmade. The bride's going to love it. I know I love this. So another item that I'm excited to get is this wok. I am very into making my own fried rice at home and there are a bunch of other Asian and Chinese, Japanese, you name it, Thai food, everything that I want to make but it requires a wok. So I'm actually not quite sure what makes a wok a wok and why it is so crucial and important to this kind of foreign cuisine but it looks amazing and I knew that I wanted to get a wok to have that heating that it needs, that crispiness I think that it does but so excited to try this out and have it in my home. Some other staple items that you want to make sure that you are registering for and register for more than you think that you may need because trust me, you're going to need them or some cutting boards. So I personally am a huge fan of the wood and the bamboo cutting boards just because I like how it's a little bit more rustic looking and everything like that. But I already own some plastic cutting boards which I'm going to keep designated for my meat products just because it's a little bit more sanitary so that the juices don't sink into your cutting board or anything like that. That sounded disgusting, I'm sorry. But these I will keep for fresh fruits, veggies, potatoes, anything like that. And you wanna get a couple different sizes. So I got a nine by 12 as well as an 11 by 15. And these have a handle, so these could be even perfect for just hanging on the wall for storage. And I also got these amazing cut, cutting boards as well. Again, they are bamboo. Yes, they are. One is eight by, 18 by 12 and the other is 13 and a half and 11 and a half. Again, various sizes. See, I have four and I'm so excited to have all four because you never know when you're going to need more than one cutting board. Strainer, that's very important. Very happy to have this and it is the nice metal one. I just made pasta tonight in a very flimsy red Dollar Tree, I think it was, 
strainer, so I'm happy to be able to switch it out with this one. I'm time, it is time for a much needed upgrade. Another item that I received was in this basket. So this basket is adorable. I love it so much. Again, it has a little bit of a, more of a rustic vibe because it's that woven pattern and texture to it. So I will be sure to be using this in my living room more than likely to put my blankets in because I kind of like the way it looks with something just thrown right over the side. And what's in here actually are these set of towels. So there's two of each, one for me and one for my fiance. So these set of towels have both a very subtle pattern on them. I love it. They're absolutely gorgeous. They are so soft. They are from the brand Opal House inspired objects and this is just the bath towels so we got two bath towels as well as two hand towels so that is absolutely amazing and again basic colors because you don't know what you're going to be receiving which is all part of the surprise because i love surprises so you want to make sure that you're registering for basic colors again that way you can add pops of colors that's what i like to do in my advice just as an interior designer as well is to go with basic colors and then add your pop of color with your decor, with your pillows, anything like that, but keep your essentials basic. So another thing that was been kind of peeking through is just the wash basket. You always want to make sure you have a wash basket, absolutely crucial and essential. Another thing that we got is the shower head. It may, it's a little silly, but we love a good shower head. And we love one that has both a shower head and a wand. That's just something that it's personal preference. This is the water pick two-in-one shower system. My mom's cousin has a daughter who I believe is around five or six years old. I honestly kind of forget, but she's around five or six. And she saw this adorable sign that says love. It looks like little balloons blown up. So this is going to make a perfect addition to either my up and coming filming room, which is awesome. So I'll make sure to have a tour once I get that room all situated because that is just kind of our dump all area right now, if I'm being honest. But I am turning that into my filming room or it will look really cute in my office at work. So I'm super happy for this. Another item that I got is perfect for decor when I don't have any other seasonal stuff out. And these will be easy enough to change out throughout the seasons is just some candlesticks, candles and some candlesticks. So this is just a crystal kind of candlestick if you can see that right there. Very beautiful. So the candlestick in it around the around fall time you can surround it with leaves at the bottom. And then around Christmas time you can put a little wreath around the bottom. These are very pretty and just kind of like a staple item to have around as decor. Very classy. I have a few more items. So I got this really awesome bag. It says bride. I actually don't have a bag that says bride at all. But what's really cool and what I didn't notice is actually it's reversible. So that's awesome. You're getting two bags in one and they were like, look into it, look into it. I'm like, what? And I was like, oh, it's reversible. And it actually, if I can do this, reverses to say misses. So it goes bride to misses. So I think that is absolutely adorable. I will be for sure carrying this around with it saying bride take it on my honeymoon and flip it to misses. A couple more items that we received is just some of that daily wear. So it's the same brand as the glasses that we received. They're just some wine glasses, stemless. There are four in this box. I think these are classy. I don't care if my wine is white or red or anything like that. I don't care about the glass that it goes in. I just love some classy looking glasses. So that's what these are. We also got this salad bowl. Again, this is bamboo. I just love the way that bamboo looks in the kitchen. It's just nice and rustic looking. Just very natural is another word that I could use for it. And I love the way that it looks because it can go with anything. So a nice salad bowl. And this also comes with the serving spoons as well in it. I do have an item that is not actually here. So I'll pop it up on the screen and it is this air diffuser that looks like a cute little tree. I absolutely love this. My best friend who's also one of my bridesmaids got this for me. It's currently sitting on my desk at work. I'll pop a picture of it up here as well. I love it. It smells delicious. It comes with a vanilla bean scent of essential oil in it and mm, it smells so good. It smells like you're baking something just because it's that nice vanilla bean scent. Love it. It is so beautiful as well. Another item that I got was from my cousin. This was actually our wedding gift. So I'm getting my bridal shower gift at the wedding my wedding gift now because we just couldn't keep it a secret anymore. And part of it, there were 15 steps to this that I had to go through to get to what my main kind of present was, my main surprise. So 
So he had me go all throughout this and open several different items. It has a really awesome bottom too. It was insulated and it had cookies in it that my cousin baked fresh the night before. He makes the most amazing cookies. I don't know how he does it because it's just the Nestle Toll House. So it's just that recipe that's on the box. He changes it a little bit, but they just come out amazing. And there were just a bunch of different items in here. There was an LED tent light, part of a broom. There was a fire starting brick. Oh, and this fire starter brick was actually wrapped in a map. And on the front, it had Indiana, Pennsylvania. That is where I went to school. I went to IUP. And on the side, it actually had Elysburg, and it was circled. There was a little hammer in it as well that has our name engraved into it, which is amazing. They did that homemade as well. A little homemade touch. There were some matches, a bunch of matches, just packed up in here. And after I knew that it was Elysburg, I'm like, okay, this has to do with camping. It has to do with Knobles, which is one of our favorite places to go. We camp there every single year. There's a whole group of us that camp. And there's always this constant battle of trying to get the other platforms to reserve so that we can expand our group and expand the family reunion side of it and have more, more and more people camp. And my fiance and I just camp on the same platform that my father does, but we're looking to get our own platform and we're just looking and looking and nothing is ever available because we go on Father's Day weekend. So that is basically what I was getting this whole theme around. So I had to unwrap 25 coupons to Fascination, which is a game at Knobles. There was another coupon for some of the games at Knobles. I'm like, okay, this definitely has to do with Knobles. I unwrapped 50 tickets to Playland, as well as $40 in ride tickets. Also had this little contraption. I'm not sure if you can really see it. They'd have showers at Knobles at the campgrounds, and my cousin invented this to kind of hook over the shower to keep it running. And the second thing that I opened was this pack of cards. So this is actually number two, so that was a little throwing off. But after that was all said and done, there was this last item. There were two things. So number 14 was a card that pretty much said, welcome to your new home. And then we had this receipt from Knobles. And this was just the icing on the cake to the day, I think. And it was the rental agreement for a certain platform that we have been dying to get for the past, oh boy. Years. I don't even have a number for it, but it's this certain platform that is kind of in the middle of our group and it's the only platform around that's not a part of us because we pretty much take up maybe around eight to ten platforms, all of us, all of us combined, and there was just this one platform we were dying to get. So apparently my cousins called on the day it was available to reserve because if you camp there, you get first come, first serve for the same days of next year. So you get first dip. So if it's a so if it's a tradition like this family reunion, you can make sure to go back on the same weekend and keep doing that year after year. So we could never get this because the same people came back and back and back. My cousins called as soon as they opened, snagged this platform, and got it for my fiance and I. So we officially have our own platform at Knobles. We could not be more excited and. Like I said, this was amazing. I absolutely loved this. The final gift I received was actually from my sister who is my maid of honor. This was probably the best gift I could have ever received. I was so grateful for this. I had no idea I was getting this. So this is actually a book and this says to the bride. And I didn't quite know what it was at first, but I kind of recognized it from when I gave it to my sister at her wedding. So now she gave it to me. So I opened it and there was a note on the inside. And on the note it said, a note from Veronica Morgan. I received this cookbook as a gift from Hess Brothers in 1957. I worked there and also had their photo studio for our wedding pictures. It's a fairly basic book, but filled with tons of advice on all subjects. It really helped me as a new bride and an old one too. Veronica Morgan is my grandmother, she's my nana. She passed away back in 2014 on September 11th. It is filled with a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of different items on it. If I can find what book this is, I will link it in the description box down below just so you can see a little bit more about it. But it has everything from how to set your table to 
different glasses, how to make certain things, recipes, measuring equivalents, so many old-fashioned recipes. Like she said, she got this in 1957. So she has bunches of different little notes. She has another one back here that I saw was this savory stuff frame. She used all the she used all the time it is one I use all the time, plus or minus ingredients, bake in a pan or stuffed chicken or turkey. So there's just a bunch of different recipes and little notes from my grandmother in here. And I absolutely love this and I can't wait to read a little bit more about it and to just cherish this little piece of her that I have to take with me. So that's everything I have for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this, maybe got some inspiration of what to buy for a bridal shower that you're going to, what to register for, or any other just tips and tricks that I may have been able to give you guys in this video. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, as well as hit the subscribe button if you didn't already, but you should have, so go hit that subscribe button and appreciate it very, very much. And as well as hit the notification bell, because like I said, who knows, I may be dropping a video on other days of the week, but I do consistently upload every single Friday. I upload anything from wedding related, lifestyle, day in the life, I'm, going, I'm wanting to get into recipe videos, you name it. If you have a challenge for me to do, leave that in the comments down below, as well as what was your favorite gift from your bridal shower if you are married, or what was just your favorite item from this little bridal shower haul that I did. I would love to know what you're interested in. So I hope you all have an amazing, amazing day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.